Last weekend, the Metropolitan Golf Club hosted the 36th edition of the Australian Masters. For fans of the sport down under, it's the start of a big summer of golf, when the Aussie stars who spend their entire year overseas competing get the chance to return home. Jeff Ogilvie nurtured his game on the famed Victorian Sandbelt courses and grew up watching the Australian Masters. He sat down with Golfing World to talk about coming back to Melbourne and what the tournaments has meant to his career. I watched golf, I was a golf junkie even from a kid and I watched a lot of tournaments at Royal Melbourne, the Australian Opens and things coming past but I was always at the Masters every year at Huntingdale and Greg seemed to be winning it every year. If it wasn't him it was Pete Senior and it was always one of the most exciting tournaments to watch. Ogilvy returns home following his best campaign since 2010, the year of his last win before lifting the trophy at the Barracuda Championship in August. 2014 has been a stellar season for the Aussies on the PGA Tour as six different players claim titles on golf's biggest stage. Australian golf, I think, kicked on by things like Adam's win a couple of years ago in the summer down here last year and young kids like Ryan Ruffles and that coming through. I mean, I just think we're in for a really, really strong patch and a good period of golf. Uh, we do really, really well in golf and I think we punch above our weight and it seems to be trending better too. It's a good period for golf for us. It had been a very lean period for the former US Open champion. No wins in more than four years. In fact, his victory in Reno was his first top 10 in 18 months. For a player with a major and three World Golf Championships on his resume, the prolonged slump in form was uncharted territory. You kind of get into this by accident in a way. I think, well, I feel like that anyway. You just, as a kid, oh, I play golf, I like that. And then you get good at it and then before you know it, it's just a natural progression and for you that's the only reality I ever knew was just get, go a little bit better. Oh wow, I won the US Open, that's cool. But then struggle for a couple of years and you look in it's like, wow, before you play bad on tour and have a bad year or two, you don't get it until you do that. And then I've done, now I've done that and come back, it's like, I don't want to do that again. This is, uh, this is pretty good fun playing well. Clearly something needed to change and this year Jeff finally figured it out. In order to get back to the form that saw him winning big time tournaments and rise to number three in the world, Ogilvy made what seems to be a very straightforward adjustment to his routine. Play more and practice less. I think the longer I've played, the less I've needed to like pile up the repetitions on the range and the putting ground, the more I've needed to kind of get competitive, get out on the course. If I've got three hours to spend, spend it on the course, don't spend it on the range. And the range and the putting ground is very addictive. Uh, and you start getting very caught up and hitting perfect shots, but often, for me anyway, that don't really translate to how I would hit them on the course, because the range, there's so many, it doesn't really matter where you hit it, and I think my mind anyway is not in the right place. I'd get more out of playing nine holes with a, with a mate for five dollars than I would out of 12 hours in the range. I just get more out of it. Another important part of keeping the major champions golf at a high level is what happens away from the course. Jeff and his wife Julie have three kids and a three week break with the family in Arizona at the end of the season means he is refreshed and raring to go as he returns to home soil. I had a magic like time off with the dropping the kids off every morning and picking them. I was kind of just sitting on the couch like counting the clock down. Oh, when can I go get them again? You know, it's been fantastic. You definitely crave kind of normalcy and routine and let's just go at home and read my local newspaper and all that sort of stuff so it's a little uh, it's an amazing thing what we do but it's all the stuff around it sometimes when you're not doing what you do well everything else just seems to not make sense. Jeff's win along with runners up spot in the Deutsche Bank Championship helped him claim a top 30 finish in the FedEx Cup standings meaning he'll play in all four majors in 2015. To say he's looking forward to getting back to Augusta after an unwanted two year break is an understatement. Basically my whole first three or four months like geared around being playing well at the Masters and uh, and St Andrews next year. I've got my mind on that. I'm already kind of planned out that whole schedule part too. So I'm pretty excited about it. I've been I've been walking around the house making practice swings, thinking that I've been that this is the tee shot on 13 at the Masters and stuff like that. Like I think everybody does. Um, but that that will I think will snowball all through next year. I haven't been. It's it's nice. I haven't been this excited about tour golf for a few years. 